Hello everyone, it's Phil Jones, and I am in Shirakawa, Japan, and joining me is Matthias Johansson from Durak. So how are you, sir? I'm great. So happy to be here today. It's been fantastic. So let's talk a little bit about the benefits of room composition. Why does somebody need to do that? Well, I think, you know, any kind of AVR or hi-fi system truly need to deal with the room. The rooms are always different. When I'm at my home, I have pretty poor acoustics in my room. I don't know how it is about you, but I can't afford to have a perfect listening room. <laughs> and the room acoustics, the interaction with the speakers in the room, you know, that's the major degradation typically, especially in a high-end sound system that you have. First thing you try to do is put place your, your speakers in the best place possible. The next thing is if you can treat your room, great, treat your room. But not everybody has that opportunity or their spouses may not let them and the rest of the room compensation comes in. So w exciting news. We've been asked forever. Um, when are you going to add Dirac because of its unique capabilities? And we are proud to announce that we're going to be bringing Durac to newer models starting in calendar year 2023. Let's talk a little bit about Durac. Can you explain a little bit about the history? Yeah, so we were actually founded. I'm one of the founders back in 2001. So we've been around for a long time. And we always deal with acoustics, speaker acoustics, and try to optimize this mm -hmm. using digital signal processing. Mm -hmm. Because any type of speaker, any type of room causes, you know, degradations and stuff. So we came up with some research back at Uppsala University in Sweden, where mm -hmm. we come from. And, and we just listened to the results of these. And we said, this is too good to be true. We really need to start a company back mm -hmm. on, on, based on this research. We did that in 2001. And then we went into automotive first with BMW as our first customer, following up with Rolls Royce and so on. Because they had the same problem as we do today in home theaters, room acoustics. Mm -hmm. And in that case, also poor speaker placement. So mm -hmm. we could use our room correction algorithms there to significantly improve the sound of those systems. And that was the start of it. Today, we're, we're across a number of different segments. And everything from automotive to home theater, obviously, hi-fi, mm -hmm. but also in headphones and even mobile phones. And, and Durag goes like beyond, like we're talking about EQ. It's not just EQ and setting channel levels, correct? No, exactly. I think that's one of the truly unique things about us is that impulse response correction is what we do. And mm -hmm. you might wonder, what is impulse response correction? Well, if you think about a regular EQ, it's mm -hmm. about levels, energy levels in different frequency bands. Mm -hmm. But in a room, you also have reflections. Mm -hmm. You have standing waves. You have time domain behaviors so that you don't just have a direct wave coming to your ears and with some energy levels in some bands louder than others and mm -hmm. so on. These early reflections and a room reverberation is causing a lot of degradation to the sound. That's measured by what we call an impulse response. That's when you input something very distinct mm -hmm. into the sound system. And when you think about sound, it's not all about tones, mm -hmm. right? It's about beats, mm -hmm. transients and so on. Mm -hmm. It's all about timing. Mm -hmm. And that's where Direct Live's room correction has a unique benefit mm -hmm. in fixing those time domain issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you could tell it's like the things are crisper, it, 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 there's more detail in it, the imaging is more focused, The when you're doing things like surround sound, the objects are more precisely placed where they should be. So so it does, it does an amazing, amazing job. Now, how do I add? How would I add Dirac to a, an AVR? Oh, it will be very simple. In, in the case of the Denon MRN's new receivers, it will be an option. So you will be able to purchase an option. Once you go through the setup screens mm -hmm. on your AVR, there will be a nice little place where you can get information about what it is and how you upgrade to it. Mm -hmm. You just click on this little QR code, you scan the QR code, and you go directly to a website where you activate and purchase your license, download the software, and then off you go because the receiver is ready for Dirac Live. So they keep they talk to each other automatically. Mm -hmm. And then you need, of course, a microphone. You need to purchase a microphone. So Dirac Live works with any kind of USB microphone. We recommend a number of different microphones, but that's something you need to add as well. Well, let's talk about the, the, the microphone. A lot of times when it comes to room compensation, the microphone needs to be plugged into the AVR itself um, to, for its timing and for calibration. But that does kind of add limitations if that receiver is 
all the way across the room or maybe in a high-end home theater down two stories. So with one of the benefits of Durac is you can actually plug that microphone into the laptop and still get precise measurements, correct? Exactly. It's very convenient. That's one of the features that custom installers love about it. Because it's like you say, you might have your receiver in the control room and you don't you can't run the cables all the way up to where you're actually listening. Mm -hmm. So this way you can walk around with the laptop, take your measurements, and, and the laptop connects wirelessly to the receiver. So it's all very, very convenient. Yeah. And and another thing I like about it is being being an integrator or being an audio enthusiast, we all like to it's never good enough. We all want to go in and experiment and make different exactly. curves and things like that. And one of the benefits of Durac is you have the ability to, to fine tune it to its personal taste, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's that's one of the other good things about it is we, we understand that, you know, the correction tries to take away as much of the coloration as we say from the room acoustics as possible mm -hmm. but then what about your personal taste in the end mm -hmm. people have different tastes i might like a little bit more bass than you do mm -hmm. for example then we have this option once you get through your measurements you can adjust the target response mm -hmm. also for the average user though you already get a proposed curve a mm -hmm. suggested target curve mm -hmm. based on the measurements in your room actually which mm -hmm. is a new feature so that it streamlines the process it will do a great job for 90 percent of of the listeners but if you were that person like me maybe that want to fine-tune the sound a bit then you can easily do that and we have an advanced option where you can go in and edit the curve completely freely mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we have a simplified target curve mm -hmm. which is essentially a bass and a treble knob mm -hmm. which is cleverly done so that you don't happen to do sort of too much adjustments okay excellent all right so the receiver is going to ship and then it'll do be a firmware update um you'll have the ability to to um activate direct but there's two different levels is that going to be available correct yes so you will have the full version, as you call it, full bandwidth version. Mm -hmm. What that is, is you're correcting the entire frequency response, mm -hmm. all the way up to 20 kilohertz or mm -hmm. above. Uh, but you also have a limited bandwidth version. And, and why? Well, because the main problems you have from the room are really in the base region. Mm -hmm. Now, we, su we suggest that you try the full bandwidth version, obviously, because we think that does add another presence in the voices of people, for example, and the full spectrum correction is the most advanced version. Mm -hmm. But you will have the version with a limited bandwidth that goes up to 500 hertz. Above that, it just leaves the whole system untouched. Mm -hmm. okay. So those are the two versions. And, and of course, it's a paid license. So, Matthias, thank you for coming and, and talking a little bit about Direct, because we're gonna spend a whole lot of time with him to walk through the process as um, the receivers are available on the market. But in the meantime, we just wanted to get you excited about this product. I am ecstatic and I am looking forward to playing with it. So, Mateus, thank you for, for hanging out with me for a little while. Phil, thanks so much. We're so excited about this. It's gonna be great. There are so many Dan and Marantz fans out there. There are also Direct Live fans. I think this will be a great opportunity for a lot of audio enthusiasts to, to get these two things together. Excellent. Hi everyone, I am sitting here with Yamada-san, Category Manager for Marantz and Denon AVRs. I am extremely excited about mm -hmm. the addition to, um, of Durac. Can you talk a little bit about you know, how could a customer actually add this? Yeah, so actually we, we, we're going to start launching uh, 2022 a new product lineup mm -hmm. and here, uh, some of them actually support a Dirac Live, mm -hmm. but here, the feature will not be available out of box, so uh, basically we are uh, releasing a firmware update mm -hmm. so it's it's going to be an OTA update around March timing mm -hmm. so that's gonna allow our AV receivers uh, to work with the Dirac Live but mm -hmm. it's going to be a, like optional okay. upgrade so op optional upgrade means uh, there will be a charge from uh, a Dirac okay. to uh, customers. So the, the, the receiver is going to ship mm -hmm. out of the box yeah. with Odyssey. So let me ask you mm -hmm. um, why do we have both? Mm -hmm. in the why are we giving customers both options yeah so yeah so just here let me you know be clear first mm -hmm. uh odyssey is going to be uh, you know our out-of-box solutions mm -hmm. uh for across almost all a uh, denim and burns uh abr product lineup mm -hmm. and but at the same time uh you know mostly from custom integration field mm -hmm. uh there are huge demand 
that uh, you know they want us to support uh, Dirac Live mm -hmm. also. Uh, that's because uh, Dirac Live is capable of doing a uh, remote calculation. So mm -hmm. you know uh, with Odyssey, mm -hmm. you always need to attach the Odyssey microphone mm -hmm. to the ABL. Mm -hmm. So that's not the case with the uh, many of the cast administration field. Mm -hmm. Uh, they have ABR uh, somewhere else, else yeah. you know, mm -hmm. it's a large system mm -hmm. and their, uh, you know, listening room is, again, you know, mm -hmm. away from the uh, yeah. customer life here. Yeah. We're, we're not here to tell you what surround sound mode you should yep. use. So we That's offer it. Yep. DTSX and IMAX Enhance and Oral mm -hmm. 3D and mm -hmm. Dolby Atmos. You choose the one that's best for you. Yep. And that also now applies with mm -hmm. applies with room compensation. Mm -hmm. There's benefits to Odyssey people and there's benefits to Durac. And it's up to the consumer to choose yep. which one they decide that they want yeah, to utilize. Exactly. So, you know, it's uh, up to customers. So if you're going to uh, choose Odyssey and go with that, so the solution is available mm -hmm. out of box and, you know, our every product ship with the Odyssey microphone mm -hmm. and also a uh, microphone stand, you mm -hmm. know, if that, mm -hmm. you know, uh, can be helpful for some of the customers you know, without a tripod. But uh, Dirac Live case is going to be uh, optional and our, our goal is to provide this option, you know, mm -hmm. if about your flexibility. So we support today, uh, as you said, some mode, we support uh, Adobe Atmos mm -hmm. and DTSX, IMAX Enhanced, mm -hmm. and also uh, all 3D. Mm -hmm. And the, when we initially supported all 3D, it was uh, upgrade options. Mm -hmm. So at this point, we are in a kind of uh, similar situation. Mm -hmm. So Odyssey continue to be our uh, out-of-box solutions. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you want to try, you know, Dirac Live, mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be available on Denmark's ABL. And, mm -hmm. the, you know, uh, there will be a family update. Mm -hmm. And once a family update is available, mm -hmm. so then uh, the Denmark and Merz ABL can work with a Dirac Live. Yeah. So you go to uh, Dirac Live website mm -hmm. and purchase your license key mm -hmm. and uh, download, you know, PC applications. Mm -hmm and uh you know register uh create username and mm. things like that mm -hmm. and after that you know yeah and there'll be two different levels the limited bandwidth exactly. which yep. uh, mateus mm -hmm. talked about and mm -hmm. the full bandwidth yeah and um and like i said we'll go into hyper detail when the solution launches to help you decide which one is best for mm -hmm. you but if you think about it when we talk about room compensation mm -hmm. we have this we have this the odyssey we have odyssey then if you want a little bit more flexibility you can do the multi q app if you yep. want to, if you want to really go into Odyssey, into Odyssey maximum capabilities, you can use the Multi Q X software program. And if someone, if you're really craving the, or you see Dirac as a better solution, you'll have two versions of that. So the goal is to give you the tools you need exactly. to to yep. to fine tune the sound in your room mm -hmm. the way that you want to do yep. it. That's our goal. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so like I said, Yamada-san, I am mm -hmm. extremely happy about this. And it eliminates some of the objections. I would only buy it if it had Durac. Now it has, now it's going to have Durac. Let's move mm -hmm. on. Okay. Yeah. So, so thanks, Yamada-san. Yeah. Thank you for you. That's it.